Good morning. I'm Keith McKinnon, former Sonic Curators. And we're jumping right into this episode with this beautiful, gorgeous Masonic apron. Now I'm going to tell you a little bit about the material <clears throat> before I dive into the scene itself. Now, I've seen a number of these over the years. Uh, I'm presuming this dates from, let's say, 1820 to 1850. Now, the apron, the silk apron, from that time period, they are not rare. A lot of people say, oh, I got a rare early, Sorry, they're not rare. Hard to find, yes. But you're going to find aprons like this, as I have seen over the years, hundreds of them in Masonic Lodges, Grand Lodge collections, Masonic museums, various other museums that may have Masonic pieces in them. Um, individuals will purchase and collect these aprons. Um, so I've seen all types of these aprons. Um, the ones that have been printed, stamped, uh, um, stenciled, um, drawn on in pen, uh, painted like this one, embroidered. Um, there is a bunch of different types of early Masonic aprons. Now, as I mentioned, this is made of silk. <clears throat> has the silk border, the silk ties. The individual who donated this got this from uh, a co-worker who she said knew nothing about it except that it had been in the family for generations. What's really nice about this apron is that it comes with the leather carrying case. Now the apron is 18 by 19, rather large. Of course, our grand, various grand jurisdictions today have regulations on the size of the apron, coloring of the apron, and the decorations that can go on it. The apron, when stored and, and carried, was actually, as you can see, folded in various spots and then made into a small section and then placed into the carrying case. There is no artist name. There is no manufacturer. There is no owner's name anywhere on the apron. It does come with the fake or false flap, which I have also seen on a number of aprons. And this is done by, if I don't rip it, very carefully. Uh, I should be wearing white gloves. The ribbon here that makes up the border is actually stitched at the top to simulate a flap. Another interesting note, <clears throat> there is various staining throughout the apron. Now this could be from age or I have seen various aprons and very early Masonic um, minute books with sustaining on it that could indicate that this was either worn during the hour of refreshment and or when the lodge may have done Masonic work, degree work, and they ate or drank during the degree. Again, I'm presuming because uh, we have no history on this. Now, diving into the beautiful hour. First of all, I'm not a flower person, so I'm thinking that these could be roses. I'm not sure. Um, on both sides of the bottom and on the left side. The vine with the blue or purplish color, I'm not sure what it is. Uh, it does come with the three columns, which are done in ink and slightly what, what I think is watercolored in. Um, there's two on this side, one on this side. It does come with, I believe, this is the Sprick Facacia or an evergreen. Uh, the ladder with the three runs. The stars, but of course you usually see five or seven. I think in this one here there's like eight or nine. I don't know why. Square encompasses the Bible. Um, and on this case, it's hard to see, but I believe there's only two steps. Uh, usually there's three. Does have the beehive, sheaf of wheat, 
what's really kind of cool and which makes this to me a rare apron not because of the apron but because of the content is these two items now in massachusetts this ritual is referred to in the first degree that our ancient brethren assembled on high hills or in deep valleys of course the better to observe anyone you know coming up or going down this side there's seven i'm presuming that it seven represents the seven constellations the four unknown what's also interesting is the individual in front looks like he could be holding a saber or sword the same as this individual over here is holding what looks like a sword these could represent tireless in the middle and this has a royal arch flavor to it but again I'm only guessing because we have no history of the individual who owned this. And I have seen the draperies done like this in one Masonic building and in a number of books that they uh, pulled back to show you the letter G, which has one, two, three, four, not stars, but I believe flowers inside with the rays. Now, royal arch flavor to it this looks like it's not an arch even though it is from the eye but the vault and you royal arch masons will know what the vault is now in many cases of these early aprons the letter g here is usually suspended from the arch by a ribbon but in this case the ribbon is at top it's a blue ribbon and some say that this represents our individual tie to the grand architect of the universe. But this also has another little hidden meaning to it. That if you pan over to the left of the apron, you will see a second ribbon. In Massachusetts ritual, there is a little saying that says, a double tie to the fraternity. So this could represent a double tie to the fraternity that as a Mason we owe. Um, I believe it is done in <clears throat> ink and then it is uh, hand colored and I believe maybe in a watercolor substance. Again, I'm not sure. Uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, the coloring is still very vibrant. Um, for its age, it's in very good shape, except for the ties, which are beginning to deteriorate a little bit. And there is some rippage at the top corners. But if this is going to be preserved and put in a frame, it will remain as such for the next, hopefully, 100 plus years. Now, again, we know no history of it. 1820, 1850. Uh, 18 by 19 is the size silk with uh, ink and watercolors an absolutely gorgeous apron so we want to thank you so very very much for watching this episode and continuing watching Masonic Curators please hit the like button subscribe button don't forget to follow us on Facebook please leave a comment we would greatly appreciate any comments that may be Someone out there has an apron similar to this. And don't forget, <clears throat> Masonic Curators will be at the original, bringing it back, MasonicCon, October 4th, 5th, and 6th at Attleboro, Massachusetts. Masonic Curators will have a table there. We will be there on October the 5th from when the doors open until the doors close. And this year, we are doing a Masonic road show. So bring an item like this and either try to stump the experts or maybe the experts will give you some information on it on an item that you do not know. And it could be a Masonic item or a fraternal piece. So we will be at Masonic Con, the original, at a bowl October the 5th of this year 
um, um, and um, look for us down in the vendors section and Masonic Roadshow. So with that, thanks everyone. Take care.